If you've been to a CMU basketball or wrestling event this winter, you've probably already seen the upgrades to the lobby of Bronson Arena. The nearly $1 million renovation was completed late last year, complete with video screens, trophies, and a timeline of the history of CMU athletics. Officials hoping it'll attract new talent to Grand Junction as the school slowly increases its undergrad population. So I went to get a closer look. All right, so we're standing here with Connor Lair. He's with the marketing department here at CMU. Connor's going to show us one of the more interesting aspects of the Bronson renovations. This is the Hall of Honor big screen. Connor, can you talk us through this? Um, well, we call these our Bronson interactive touch screens. Um, so they just have a, a number of information. We have um, a list of all of our Maverick champions. Um, we have varsity sports, club sports, and um, so that's just a list of all. It goes back to 1976 is when. This is extensive, isn't it? Yes, it is, and it's, it's since we joined the RMAC. And the reaction, I'm guessing, has been overwhelming, overwhelmingly positive from the community yeah, yeah. coming and seeing like, oh yeah, my dad played for CMU back in the day and he was really good and now I can prove it. Yeah, I've actually run into some people coming in here and they're with their kids and the dad's like, you know, look at this, I, I played with these, these people, I played with, you know, Mike Brunson or, you know, whoever it is back in the 80s and, and so it's pretty cool. I got to talk to people and they're, and they're pretty excited about this. So all the screens are basically the same, all these big Big screens are basically the same. Videos are all on there too, so we have, we're currently you know, trying to upload more and more video content so people can come back and watch themselves. So this will be updated annually with any new awards or All-Americans that CMU has? Yeah, yeah, like so we just won you know, in 2018, our volleyball team won, and so that's, we're just adding stuff as we kind of win. We've been looking around at different institutions and seeing these sorts of pro projects getting developed, and I tell you, they're just great engagement, great reflection, great remembrance of student athletes who've been here, try and keep them engaged, and try to give them some credit for, you know, being a student athlete at a collegiate level is an amazing accomplishment, and they're really great student athletes. Now I think this is the coolest part right here, the Maverick history, because CMU goes back to the early 20s, and the Maverick history wall here inside of Bronson's lobby takes you all the way back to when CMU first began. That's pretty cool, you know, we get to get a little brief history of the school and, and where we started, so, and where we've come. to some people who believe that maybe the money should have been spent on education or maybe not just for the Bronson renovations? You know, we spend money all over the place. We spend a lot of money on um, all sorts of technology in the classroom and everything else. It's always a balance. But for example, if you drive by on North, uh, on 12th Street or on North Avenue, generally it's going to be, uh, we had a theater production coming up, we have a music production, you can see videos of those sorts of things. So we do all of the above and I think everybody here appreciates it. This is kind of your life when you're an athlete. This is what you do. And um, so yeah, you, you make a lot of good friends and um, a lot of special memories. And so, yeah. Yeah, you never quite forget being an athlete. You don't, no. It, it's a beautiful way to kind of, you know, preserve the history of CMU athletics. And um, I, don't, I, I don't know, it's just overwhelming kind of. Yeah, it looks great. President Foster also said that the Hall of Honor video boards you saw there is an ongoing project and they're constantly looking for old yearbooks, photos, or videos of old Maverick Athletics. So if you have anything that might be a good addition to their archives, CMU would love to hear from you. That's